I've recently run a, a very sig significant recruitment campaign for board directors and uh, I've received thousands of board resumes. And I have to say that out of thousands of resumes, there would only be a handful of resumes that, in my opinion, really stood out from the crowd. Many were in a category which is really hard to describe. They were almost unreadable. Um, very much uh, clear that the person had tried to just put this document together themselves. Uh, you know, really poor, unappealing formatting. The right information was not captured. Uh, you know, literally I was just getting, you know, names and some titles and sometimes if I was lucky, a few dates. Uh, but really very difficult to assess the candidacy of the candidates. And so, look, I think this is an area where, you know, as an executive, if you aspire to go onto the boardroom, you really must go beyond um, a really basic kind of template and throwing together some information. What needs to be captured in that board resume is your unique value proposition, what you bring to the boardroom. You have to showcase your board experience. It's not enough just to say, well, look, I'm on this board and I'm in this role or title. You really have to break down what you've done on the board, what the key achievements have been, what your contribution has been to the boardroom. I think a lot of executives are missing an opportunity here because they're literally just giving very high level information. So from my perspective, if I'm assessing your candidacy for board appointments, I want to know if you've been involved in establishing the risk uh, frameworks, uh, you know, completed risk appetite statements. What type of business challenges have you faced and how have you dealt with them? Now, obviously, this information can be very commercially sensitive, but I think there's a number of ways that you can frame this on your resume so that you can convey the key meaning of your experience and what you've been able to achieve and the impact that you've been able to have in the boardroom settings. So I think, um, you know, it does need a bit of a rethink. And I, you know, I think obviously pass it to a trusted colleague, a peer, but the reality is I really do feel you have got to make a, you know, a strategic investment in a board resume. I'm finding people really struggle to identify A, what the board is actually looking for and B, how do you showcase your executive experience, your board experience, which in many cases sits over decades of work. How do you really highlight the key components that would be interesting to a board of directors? And the other thing you've got to keep in mind is that certainly in a board search scenario, your resume will often be reviewed by multiple parties. So if it's reviewed by the corporate headhunter, if it's presented to a client, it might be reviewed by the nomination committee. If there's a major shareholder or a private equity firm, the document might be shared more broadly. Um, the reality is in this type of um, assignment, you know, your documents are reviewed by a number of individuals. And so it's even more crucial to take that into account because you've got to think about how you're positioning your messaging, how you might address someone who you've never met before and how they might interpret that information in that document. And keep in mind at all times, the purpose of that document is to secure you a meeting, to get you in the or for a conversation. So that's the ultimate test of a board resume. So don't get too hung up on, you know, what's in paragraph A and B. If the document is securing meetings, then it's doing the job. But I have to say, just recently, having been through this recruitment process and seeing the standard of resumes, in my opinion, people are just trying to either do it themselves they're trying to do a light tweak on an executive resume to try and make it fit for a board appointment. And it really does need you to take a step back now because this document is so crucial to laying the foundations for a successful meeting and an introduction to a board opportunity. So for a modest investment, it's really worthwhile. So get in touch with us. We obviously specialize in board resumes and you know our service is literally the leading service in the market. We are really performing at the very highest level. These documents are you know, are of the highest caliber and they can be used to engage with executive search firms, with the nomination committees and with the chairs and the non-executive directors in the boardroom uh, so that you can secure those important uh, opportunities to go forward in your board career.